Senator Biden? I don't like a damn thing about him. I, no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> only kidding. Dennis and I have been friends for 25 years. I think this is a ridiculous exercise. Dennis, the thing I like about, best about you is your wife. And uh, <laughs> Congressman uh, Kucinich talking about uh, Senator Gravel. Wait a minute, he talked about my wife. Well, <laughs> your uh, thoughts on You Gravel. notice what uh, CNN did. They didn't put anybody to the left of me. Oh, think yeah. about it. <laughs> um, I'm not Senator sure it would be Gravel, possible to find anybody. Senator, <laughs> and you know what? And you won't. And, and I'm glad I get a chance to debate you to my left because there's no one more mainstream on the war on health care and on trade than I am, Anderson. Now, about Senator Gravel. Didn't he show great courage during the Vietnam War when he exposed what was going on with the Pentagon Papers? Really courageous American. I'm proud that he's up here. Thank you, Senator Gravel. All right, we'll leave it at that. I want to thank uh, all the candidates tonight. Uh, CNN and YouTube would also like to thank all our partners, the, uh, the South Carolina Democratic Party and the Democratic National Committee for sponsoring. There's not a single military man in this audience who will tell this senator he can get those troops out in six months if the order goes today. Let's start telling the truth. Number one, you take all the truths out, you better have helicopters ready to take those 3,000 civilians inside the green zone where I've been seven times and shot at. You better make sure you have protection for them or let them die, number one. So you can't leave them there. And it's going to take a minimum of 5,000 troops to 10,000 just to protect our civilians. So while you're taking them out, Governor, take everybody out. That may be necessary. Number three, the idea that we all voted, except for me, for that appropriation. That man's son is dead. For all I know, it was an IED. Seventy percent of all the deaths occurred have been those roadside bombs. We have money in that bill to begin to build and send immediately mine-resistant vehicles that increased by 80 percent the likelihood none of your cadets will die, General, Fine. and they all voted against it. How in good conscience can you vote not to send those vehicles over there as long as there's one single solitary troop there. Senator Clinton. You know, I've put forth a comprehensive three-point plan to get our troops out of Iraq, and it does start with moving them out as soon as possible. But Joe is right. You know, I have done extensive work on this and the best estimate is that we can probably move a brigade a month if we really accelerate it maybe a brigade and a half or two a month that is a lot of months my point is they're not even planning for that in the pentagon you know mr barry i am so sorry about the loss of your son and i hope to goodness your youngest son doesn't face anything like that but until we get this president and the Pentagon to begin to at least tell us they are planning to withdraw, we are not going to be able to turn this around. And so, with all due respect to some of my friends here, yes, we want to begin moving the troops out, but we want to do so safely and orderly and carefully. We don't want more loss of American life and Iraqi life as we attempt to withdraw. And it is time Congress for us to admit that it's going to be complicated, so let's start it now. Congressman Kucinich. The underlying assumption here is that we're going to be in Iraq until the next president takes office, and I reject that totally. People can send a message to Congress right now.